Hey everybody, what's up? Ryan and Sarah here. We just wanted to share some things that are on our heart just out of the Word of God. Um, specifically, we, uh, at the last altar, there was a song that broke out. It's not a new song, it's several years old, but many of you know it. It's the song, the name of the song is Tend. And um, it just broke out for, I don't even know how long, but it's, it just, it's stuck with me since that night. I've been playing it on repeat, quite literally, um, everywhere I go. Um, and it's just, it speaks, if you know the song, it speaks about God being the gardener of our hearts. And I've just been meditating on that, listening to this song and diving into the word out of John chapter 15, where Jesus talks about the vine and the branches. He says, I'm the true vine. My father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. And I believe just wholeheartedly that this season we are in, in the body of Christ, even this year of 2024, we've been hearing all over the place, even by the Hebraic year that this is, that this is the year of open doors. And I just believe that that's true. It is the year of open doors, but I believe the Lord is doing a work in a lot of us and in his body and in his bride as preparation to go through the open door. And for a lot of us, we may find ourselves in a season of pruning. And I know we hear a lot about pruning and a lot of teachings about that, but as I've been just thinking about this and meditating on it, even again, listening to that song, I've been re-inviting the Lord to prune what needs to be pruned. And here's the thing about pruning that struck me. Um, and Sarah can talk in a second more about actually what pruning is because she's way better at gardening type of stuff than me. I kill everything that I try to garden. She knows a lot more about it. But the thing that's interesting about pruning is that when something is pruned, it's something that is a part of you. It's something that's attached to you. It's something that many times you have tended and cared for and even nurtured and seen grow up from from a little stem in your life and sometimes it's something you hold on to sometimes it's a part even of your personality or you just that we say things like well that's just the way i'm wired or that's just that's my greatest area of gifting it's something that is a part of you that's pruned and when the lord comes in and says i'm removing that i'm cutting that thing out and removing it it can be not just painful, but it can bring a lot of questions also because it's something that oftentimes you've tended. What, it, what does pruning actually mean in the natural? Because you understand that stuff way better when it yeah. comes to plants. Yeah, when you're pruning a plant, I mean, we have this cherry blossom tree in our the front of our house. And every spring, I'm like, I gotta get rid of these branches because they're in the way and so I cut them off. But the truth is, they come back stronger and they bring friends with them. So normally they'll sprout extra branches. And so when you're pruning, you're actually making way for multiplication in a plant for them to expand. And so these moments where God's asking you to prune, allow him to prune something away, he's also wanting you to make space for his multiplication in your life. Right. Another thing that happens when, with pruning is grafting. A gardener will sometimes cut a branch off and then cut, slice it in half to stick a new thing into that branch that will then become a part of the plant. And for many of you, this might be a season where God is saying, let me cut this thing off so that I can put my new thing into yeah. your life to become a part of you and to grow and expand in your life. Yeah, and so many times the new thing that the Lord wants to graft in is not something that we're comfortable with in our own strength. I would say way more often than not in my life, when something gets pruned, I've expected the Lord to, you know, oh, thank you, Lord, you're gonna bring more fruit, you're pruning me, and I think it's gonna be this big, easy batch of fruit, and it's gonna be, you know, something in my strength and my comfort zone, and every single time it has not been that. It has been something where I have to rely on the Lord's strength being made perfect in my weakness, which is uncomfortable, which is not fun, which is not always pleasant, but it's the way of the kingdom of God, especially for those of us that are called into ministry and leadership. And the Lord is just calling us in this season to, as we get ready to go through these open doors and these new seasons, 
to embrace the season of pruning. One other thing that's just stuck out for me as I've been studying this over the past week, where Jesus says, and this is the part of that song, uh, where it says, I'll remain in you, you remain in me, and I'll trust your timing. The word remain, when Jesus says, abide in me or remain in me and I will remain in you in John 15, it actually means, that word remain means stay or wait. Um, it doesn't just mean just hang in there till the end or just hang on for dear life. It just means rest and wait in the season of pruning. As painful as it is, as many questions as there are, remain in the vine, remain in Jesus. Every answer you need, every question you have can be found in the vine. You don't, it, listen, you don't need to deconstruct. You need to remain in the vine to find the answers that you're looking for. So that's our encouragement to you. If you find yourself in a season of pruning right now, it is the Lord's blessing to remove things, to get things out of the way so that you can bear more fruit and go through the open door in 2024. All right, guys, blessings. Check out this song if you don't know it. Put it on repeat and let it just let it just cover you and let the message of that song, which is John 15, just permeate your spirit in this season. And I won't shy away. I will let the branches fall. So what you want can stay. And what you love.